I believe our foundation is set. Going into this year, we'll have 15 seniors, but we will also start a ton of redshirt freshmen and a ton of true freshmen. So even though it's the third year, our talent's better, but we're gonna, we're gonna be green in certain aspects, so we're gonna be young. But uh, those guys are gonna make their mistakes, as long as they're not for big plays. Hey, by the time they're sophomores and juniors and seniors, that'll be a heck of a group on both sides. The time is now, though, for this team. Once the season starts, the present and future will be the makeup of what QU puts on the field. You're going to see new faces. So we have guys that we redshirted for the spring that competed for jobs. So now you're going to see a ton of redshirt freshmen in the secondary and, and certainly a couple true freshmen uh, uh, everywhere else. Excitement, more physical. Again, people um, able to learn. It's the young guys. They're hungry. And uh, the conversation, too, is really uh, bringing us up to just go out there and just do our best, each one of us. Competition has been a key word during camp, and no one has taken advantage of their opportunity like freshman wideout Cody Wood from Jacksonville. Cody's had a great camp through our, through our six practices. Really excited about him. He's quick. He's assignment disciplined. He's got good hands, run good routes. He made some plays here. I think he caught a touchdown. I think that was him. In the, and that's, that speaks volumes. He came in, you know, uh, doing real well right now, um, running good routes, you know, being on the same page. Me and him kind of, we've, uh, we've had a connected a couple times, so, so that's been really good. Um, working to improve on that and keep uh, keep that going. It's a lot to take in in the first yeah. week, learning the offense and everything, and all the older guys have done a great job with helping me. I mean, I've been asking a lot of questions, and it's just the pace of the game is fast. Like it, it's a lot different than high school. Even the All-Star game I thought was pretty fast, but this just kind of blew it out of the water. And I'm working more with the slot at the slot receiver. Um, instead of outside like I did in high school, mm -hmm. and I felt like I kind of fit that mold a little better. There's still some things I got to work on. I had quite a few mistakes out here today, and that's something I need to get in with the meetings and work on that. Progress will have to start defensively. After giving up an average of 33 points and 426 total yards a game in 2013, the Hawks must get off the field on third down. All summer we've been working on is really trying to get to know the defense. There are some plays out there where we're the communication within coaches and the team where it was a little rough but just like by the end we just we got it right and then we just know the plays and just we're, we're just uh we just execute basically we're gonna hang our hat on defense uh like i said you got like Bonique up front uh at linebacker dan camp joe mcnally three returning starters and then we have uh, our bookends we graduate two but we have tanner day andrew smichael who's just as quick if not quicker than the two guys we had last year uh we recruit a couple new freshmen you're going to see some time right there so secondary we're more athletic we're younger like we talked about it but we're more athletic we can run a little bit better so i'm hoping our team speed on defense is going to be pretty good